Hey, it's Susan Fouché, and here is how to block and report Fiverr sellers, because sometimes you just need to end the relationship. Here's how to block and report Fiverr sellers, get them out of your hair, and make more money with your voiceovers on Fiverr with the clients you love rather than the clients you don't love. Okay, to block a user on your phone, all you're going to simply do is go into your messages and then simply tap on the seller, tap on their name. And then in the upper right hand corner, you'll see the three dots. Just tap on that and block user. And the user will be blocked, no questions asked, and this will not hurt your sales at all. Now, how to do this on your computer or on your laptop. Now, I really don't know why, but uh, Fiverr doesn't allow you to block every single buyer. Um, I, I don't really know why, but I can tell you that when they do have this little Fiverr Select uh, next to their name, the little green crown, you can block them. To do that, you just simply click on their name. I'm here in my conversation, my messages. Just click on their name and then go ahead and make sure that you click on their name to go into their uh, buyer profile. And then you'll notice right here underneath their name and underneath their logo, there is a report and a block. Just go ahead and click on block. I don't want to block this buyer though because I actually really like this buyer, but that's how you would do it. Um, once you do that, they, they'll give you a reason. They'll say like, why do you want to go ahead and block them? And you can, you know, choose whichever one you want. I'm not really going to choose any, so I'm just going to hit cancel. Now, before you block any users, any, any buyers on Fiverr, I do recommend that you reach out to them and tell them what they're doing wrong because they may not know that they're being annoying. They may not even know that they're being obnoxious. They may not know that they're breaking any rules. Um, you know, the reason why you ever want to block anybody is because you just don't want them to contact you anymore. And that can be a lot of different reasons why you want to do that. But I would let them know, just remember that like, you know, we're on a world stage here and that cultures act differently. You know, a lot of times Americans are seen as completely obnoxious and we wouldn't want to just be blocked because we said something that was normal in our culture that somebody in a different culture took offense to. So I do recommend that you reach out to them and just let them know, you know, hey, that felt kind of obnoxious or did you mean that to be rude or, or you know, whatever um, before that. I also recommend that you do report people, especially if you think that they're stealing your work or they're misrepresenting themselves. I do recommend that you report people um, who you think are doing that. Fiverr's come a long way. Fiverr used to have a terrible reputation as like, you know, the really shady, crappy work you're going to get on there. And they're really trying to beef it up. I know I've made a lot of money on Fiverr in the last two years, in the last 20 five months. And I would hate for my work to go away because um, Fiverr went out of business or something like that. Um, so if you do see some shady business practices, go ahead and report them. And it's just the report button. This is on every single uh, buyer, seller, you can report anybody. And just give Fiverr a reason for why you're reporting them. You can even say like, hey, this may be nothing, but I just kind of saw this. It's totally fine um, to do that. And I think it always makes the platform a better place when we see something that is wrong, that we tell somebody about it. So thank you so much for watching. Happy Fiverr Friday. For more great tips and tutorials about Fiverr, check out my playlist for Fiverr. I upload Fiverr videos every single Friday. I upload audiobook videos every single Wednesday and a smattering of other tips, tricks, warm-ups, money advice, <laughs> business advice in between. So thanks for watching. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.